we saw Gabriel moving on into Grand Finals. Zeke is waiting in Losers Finals. But we have ourselves, like you said, top five beginning off here. Goblin going down in 3-0 fashion to Zeke. In hey, man, Yoshi's, Yoshi's good. Yoshi is hype. Yoshi's good. I don't know about hype, but Yoshi's good. Hey, that. Okay, I would say Zeke's Yoshi is hype, at least. And so now we have <laughs> Rat versus Krom. Krom. Pichu okay. versus Krom, no less. I'm curious to see how this goes. Really, one of the few Pichus left doing it right now. Yes. And then uh, we've seen Goblin switch over to the Krom recently as a counterpick measure yes. from Roy as well. I'll be kind of curious to see how this goes out. Two players want Goblin being from Orlando, Ridia being from Tampa. It'd be interesting to see how this plays out because I don't think they've played too much. I haven't seen Ridia at too many events, to be honest with you. No, Ridia has uh, definitely been more in region in the past. And of course, Goblin, you've seen them at every national possible. Thank you, first of all, to, uh, to Primate Esports. No, of course. Great sponsor, at least. But uh, but Goblin, again, pulling out this Chrom in weeklies at the moment in Ridia. Ridia. Taking a lead off. Oh, yeah, Ridia. He will correct you. It's Ridia. Oh, I got you. I got you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, but Goblin off to an early deficit. Go back to ledge, yeah. That's the thing, I mean, Ridia's kind of kept him stuck in the corner for the most of the set so far. Obviously, it's still very early, and that back air is going to kill so, so quickly on Pichu. But it really feels like, for the most part, Ridia's won the neutral exchanges so far. Absolutely so far, and again, it's just a little bit slow. Goblin really just trying to bait Ridia at the moment. Mm, side B, so the thing with... Yeah, no, the thing with, you know, Goblin and Krom is that he's using a lot more side beat. Him and Roy never use a side beat. Just eh. once in a while, if you see it's his weekly, like, he'll see him, he'll see him, he'll use it as le at ledge. only opportune moments, and we saw him use it like three times in a row. Well, it's a much better option for Krom as well. It's just pure mm. damage at that point. Right. Whereas Roy, if you get the strong spots, you're going to start killing at absurd percents. Right, but you have to be super precise with it, even delaying your hits. Yep, absolutely. Pressuring a little bit. This is essentially even. Because like you said before, Pichu is super, super light. Aridia is still booting on the pressure. On ledge actually going for downers, but there's that Krom upbeat doing so much damage. The fact that but that gets the red point. lightning on Pichu at this percent is crazy. <laughs> if that one might kill yeah, it too, will. and it 130. will. Yeah, it will. 130. So early for what is just practically an invincible option out of shield. Oh, Goblin. He's at full rage right now. Now he's at full, full rage, even getting a counter. So much damage, extending this lead at the moment. Oh 78 God. now, and all of those neutral runs mean nothing if you die at such an early percent. Oh my God, then the dash attack does nothing. That's not Pikachu. No, certainly, certainly not. Oh, Ooh, great pick him. And the down wow. of Iridia. Beautiful outplay, but here comes Goblin. Down tilt into a side B, but that's not going to kill either. Ridia comes back and immediately Goblin takes him out. Great rejection from Goblin to start off loser's quarters. Both these players are wild, bro. <laughs> In terms absolutely of play style, nuts. absolutely. These guys are these guys are nuts, ballsy to us to an extent. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm really curious to see how this interactions go because it really seemed like Goblin kind of got a feel for what Ridia was trying to do and. Uh, trying to do by the end of that first game, but then this is something these players know each other very well. These are two rivals from Smash 4 come together once mm. again in a new game. Titans of Florida meeting now. And it's kind of been crazy to see the, the uptick Riddy has had recently because he just hasn't been going to things. And now reasserting himself now in losers' quarters of this massively stacked tournament, a B tier in Ga in Gainesville. Right, and here's the thing. So because of the fact that Riddy has has been, you know, like traveling too far out of Tampa, nice Tampa pair. hasn't had too many tournaments, period. Any big regionals, you know, any big monthlies at all. Riddy has just been grinding, you know, weeklies at that extent. So now that he has an opportunity to showcase his skills that he's been refining for the past couple of months, he shows up here in top five and going tit for tat with one of the best in the world. Yeah, and managed to take out Tacky, uh, Tacky on 3-0 in the set previous to this. Battle beating, of the Rats. Beating Wonderbread in the Ooh. previous set earlier today. Beautiful wins on both Jacksonville and Gainesville already. Oh, but nice here. Oh, yeah. my God. Town and City, such small blast zones close to the platform there. Yeah, Goblin didn't even have to reverse jump there. Just went straight for a fair. Oh, but here comes the drag downs. Ridia trying to extend it with the up tilt, but doesn't work out in his favor. But that's a lot of damage done so far. But here comes Goblin with a couple of up airs of his own. Yeah. 
still some damage. Rydia actually goes for a down B. Interesting there, trying to predict that Goblin would approach there in the air, but still nothing so far. Still super even. Good grab too. Oh, just oh, barely one. misses. I think how goofy that up smash is by Pichu. It's really just... It's just a noggin. Up. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, your up smash if you were Pichu would be kind of something stellar to see. That fro with that smash as well. Oh, absolutely. It's like a helmet. <laughs> wow. Oh, the down right. smash will do it. Man, I thought you was going to send it back way too. You whiff enough time, you'll pick it up eventually. It's kind of crazy to watch uh, Rydia sit there with that because the initial down smash didn't connect, but then the whiff from Epic Gabriel, or excuse me, from Goblin was enough to pull him into it. <laughs> Quick work. Really bad. Here comes again Goblin. Trying to come in, but Rydia. That was almost like pressuring very him slick. using even projectile too. Back here, trying to drag him down with a down beat to finish up this game, but Good not going to work out in his favor. Still extending damage though. You see the forward throw here, just knock him off stage. Got him! Oh, got him! He's really good at that. Like, this is a, like, normally you see, a, like, you'll hit maybe, like, maybe half of them, but it really just seems like he's got a number for that right away. Oh, absolutely. I'm, and, I mean, Krom actually makes it a little bit easier in that extent because he's just prone in a single position at some point, but Rydia is doing such a good job of kind of following that trajectory, knowing that he's just going to go straight up and inputting that down there at the perfect time. So, Rydia. Definitely showcasing himself a little bit in that game too, taking advantage of the uh, kind of the uh, kind of the length of town and city a little bit. But we're gonna go, if I'm not mistaken, Smashville at this point. Correct. KK Western playing in the background. It's Almost a, wow, <laughs> went for it five seconds in. And that really, I mean, just defines the volatility in this matchup. Pichu, of course, pretty significantly nerfed in a couple patches ago. Not the monster that she, he once or she once was, mm. but still very capable of this matchup. Mm. Oof. Oh, the neutral B almost catching off. I mean, Goblin kind of used to using those uh, neutral Bs with Roy. Kind of a more extended hitbox, but Rydia actually side Bs a little bit above ledge, so Goblin is able to get that easy kill. Easy stuff there from Pichu, that downer into the re-grab. Are you doing a good job? Just actually going for a couple of trades. Here comes Goblin just to open it up. I mean, at this point, I don't think Goblin minds the trades that much, though. No, absolutely like, not. Like, this is the perfect time for him to be trying to get those uppies out. He should be in a quote-unquote driver's seat. And right now, he's actually baiting out with some uppies. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of like Cloud's uppie in the sense that, like, you, you find a single opening and you get just some easy damage. And... Your opponent is just so far away from you that you just kind of get to have a mental reset off of the input. Wow. Ooh, Goblin almost survived it. You see the double the head shake there. Jumps into the blast zone there, but 104% on Rydia now. Going to have to play very carefully. Does not want to get any stray hits. One jab even from center should be enough to finish the stock here. Well, you here. just skip the jab entirely. You just go <laughs> straight for the back here. Yeah, why not? And I mean, of course, at that percent and the fact that back here is actually super brutal. Rom and now at this point. Just trying to extend the lead, trying to finish this one up. Oh, deny nice. Rydia. Does he have any jump? Well, of course, now he does, but Goblin had him in prime position. This is beautiful stuff right now from Goblin. Really just primo of like how to play get, play this matchup. Just great fundamentals of him. Okay, down B, but it's not gonna hit on the body. Oh, but there we go. Second time's a charm you for see Rydia. It, you see Rydia powering up with the taunt. <laughs> Might be too, like once again, this is one of those just like one back air in space. And we've seen how good Goblin has been with Roy and just how drop zone through those platforms he could be. Dang, and just F tilt. Yes. Doesn't even need it. See, the one thing that I, you know, I, I've been wanting to see from Rydia is more of those, you know, back air drag down, you know, kind of loops. Because um, I was actually watching Rydia this past Wednesday against Synergy. And he was pulling that off so, so much, and it was extending so much damage. He gets a single window of opportunity, and he was getting solid 30, 40, 50 damage just off of, the, uh, just off of those loops. And the fact that Goblin has been able to just escape those every time has been super crucial to his, his success so far. Of course, after this, we're going to be going into Uncivil, or, or excuse me, um, Kobe versus Vinny G. Oh, okay. Did Uncivil go out at uh, 7 Lost to Kobe, yeah. Okay, oh well. So Kobe, 
definitely making a huge run. I mean, the season just started. He wasn't even PR'd in the, uh, in the last season, purely because of attendance. So oh. here it comes, trying to make a little bit of a comeback now. And wow, the, the double jump combined with the up B armor. Start, but even then, still Goblin surviving. All the right tricks, but it was the armor on the up that did for him. Misses the, misses the dash on that grab there. He's in over that down tilt, impressive stuff. Oh, nice, the back air will do it. Killing off the side. Now Radia firmly in the driver's seat. Actually taking this one back to PS2 is actually a pretty good idea. I mean, Radia was looking super good in that, uh, in that game one. Just kind of going back, getting that mental reset, kind of even strength, quote unquote, in a sense. My sliding F tilt on the miss oh. tech too. Goblin immediately turning on the jets and tying it up. Goblin seems pretty confident in this matchup. Oh, no. This is something he's had to deal with. I mean, it's the difference sometimes, too. I, I feel like these players are relatively matched when it comes to the skill levels. Right. However, it's just the simple fact that Goblin has been to oh. so much more and has had to deal with so many different play styles that really just hasn't seen yet. I guess so, but Pichu isn't exactly, you know, a character that we've seen a lot really at all. Not in the not in a regional sense and not even in a national you know, sort of state. Listen, so, man, you're playing enough. Oh. You're playing as many pools that Goblin has played, yeah, no, and you're absolutely. going to see yeah, enough. No, he'll, he'll see some, you know, some some low key warriors. Damn, just grabbed team. him straight out of that LB. Chase, Ooh, oh, the trade. Wow. Yeah, no, but ready. I'm turning on the Jets in that second stock. And at this point now, he has a little bit of a lead, trying to extend this into a game five to stay alive here in losers. Getting super close. The Crom up B. Falling up, up there. And, oh no. Here comes Goblin taking full extension of those up airs. So the good at that too. Of them. Masterful work in both with Rom and Corey using using those up airs to this full advantage. That could have been jab back air there. F smash gonna be fully blocked. But Goblin does nothing off of it and Bridia actually extends more damage Got him. and the F smash catches him. Ladies and gentlemen, we get a game five again. Wouldn't so, have it any other way, brother. Man. So Goblin, I mean. Just the, just the pure fact that we saw him, you know, seriously dominant in his stream games early on. Little did in you, his pools. Little did up. you know, the more here he he loses, the stronger he gets. It's like a reverse Samson. <laughs> so you see the shave sides, shave sides now. That's why he's able to get as right, far as he right, is. Right, right, right. Hey, shout out to Chess. Hit him with a, hey, hit him with a, <laughs> hey, hit him with a, hey. And burst. Yes. But it's kind of I'm I honestly like I've been on I've done the PGRX factor for several years now. Mm. I'm very very interested to see where Goblin ends up on PGRV2. Yeah, I, I mean I, I genuinely think top 15, top 20. Uh, I think so purely because of the fact that he's super consistent on a national level. Sets I mean, off Samsora, sets off or set off a of Samsora, sets mm. off a tweak. Mm. I mean, yeah, he was known as the tweet killer yeah. in this in this season. So it's been really good for him. Oh my God, oh, you are dead so he's early. Definitely gonna go. Whoa, whoa, Ridia! Already starting off with a bang, getting that quick kill, and he's at twenty percent. Goblin don't... already down to a deficit. Already putting him at a handicap. And don't forget, there is no off season. This is a B tier now for V three. Absolutely, absolutely. Actually, two B tiers on the same Ooh. day, on the same post. So very interesting to say the least. Where's but the Goblin immediately bringing it, uh, Boston, by the way. Oh. But uh, but Goblin immediately bringing it back, even strength on the second stock. Jab locks though. Oh, jab locks, and he's gonna keep going. Yep. Ridia trying to go for a down air too. My man does not opt for Ooh. this match attack. Instead, opts for the BNB combos. Gets as much damage as possible off that. However, Goblin dragging it back now, taking the stock lead or percent lead as well. It's hit scary to think this is game five and he, Goblin has yet to really hit on a very powerful read on those tech options. I feel like that's something a Krom player gets at wow. least once every set, and we may see it on this last stock here. Ridia had such a strong lead, but wow, immediately off the back, he pulls out a down B, and the downer evens it up at the last stock, last stock, last game of the set to move on into loser semis. Who's going to take it? That was nuts up oh, mine. Man said, <laughs> I got you for this. And now he already has oh, a man. good 20% lead on him, too. Ridia playing out of his mind right now. Dead even percents. Ooh, gets the, over okay. the neutral B2. Oh, great parry. And here comes Ridia. Trying to extend with an air. Even back air just to extend some length. Yeah, he's got a double jump away from that up air. Back oh. air, so. Ridia's still alive. 
Barely. Oh no! The fair is gonna miss. Rydia is still alive. 110. This is crazy. 40% right now. Oh, just Rydia runs really in. Just waited. But he can take the grab. He can take the grab. He can take a few more, honestly. Doesn't have to worry about oh, it. Oh no. Center stage. The F tilt will do it. Rydia super close from taking out world top 40 or, you know, maybe world top 20 in a little bit. Goblin taking it. In game five, you saw the you saw the silent moment from him. Just that. 